Artsy Gamer 7 and welcome to Mansions and Misfits! Uh, if you saw my little update, uh, I had some issues with the original first recording, but in some ways that like made me realize sort of more of how I should record this. I'm gonna do two days instead of the original three that I planned, and also like every once in a while I need to give the game a pause, sort of let it re-catch up to itself, and like there's a few other things right now. There's some sort of some stinky things going on because I had these Sims sort of locked in their rooms <laughs> until it turned back to a Sunday, and uh, just to get it back to a Sunday, and I would let it. Oh wait, I don't have to shift click on that. Unlock! So while I go around and unlock these doors, because everyone should be asleep except for- Oh gosh, her- her fury's already- Whee! Um, most of them should be asleep except for Pyra for some reason. Um. Or Pyra. Said that wrong. <laughs> it's good when you say your own character's name wrong. Um, she won't stop talking to friends. Uh. I don't know if she's like, like I can't get her to like, maybe, maybe we just, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> she done lost her mind. She's talking to her friends, which is the butterflies, obviously. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, but most of them, I made sure that they were all asleep there for a bit, but from this point on. They won't all have to go to bed at the same time because I have actually went through and gave like certain ones different traits depending on their like backstory and their race. Like all my elves should have the seldom sleepy thing versus, you know, non-elves most likely don't. Uh, yeah, we do also have a maid that comes in, so hopefully the maid will start taking care of some of this stuff. And we won't have to worry about all that mess. I doubt the maid's going to be able to get through all of it. But hopefully some of them will want to chip in and just clean anyway because they're living in filth. But yeah, so. <laughs> my game is a little bit struggling. Not as struggling as I technically thought it was. And honestly, like I mentioned in my update video, if you're gonna do something like this, do not use this. And if you do use it, make sure you're only skipping in increments of like five hours. And then make sure you check on everyone's needs before, you know, you start going around and I figured I forgot someone's. Um, before you start skipping more hours, give time for the game to catch up with itself. Give time for the Sims to sort of figure out what's happening. And also their needs are going to start depleting all of a sudden. Um, because it's going to take an account that technically their needs should have been depleting during all that time. So yeah, um, if you're going to skip time, do not skip it in large in increments. Oh wait, did I? I don't think I unlocked them. Like I did. <laughs> just words of advice. Uh, also, probably just don't have 30 sims. I feel like my game definitely would be doing great if it wasn't 30 Hey, her friend's out. It's good to know that that ghost is actually appearing now, also. But, seems like letting it just run on its own and like have it paused every once in a while has sort of fixed things. I just need to every once in a while, like, need to let it play catch up. So, you know, I learned from the original first episode, but I don't think I would have had enough good footage, in all honesty, because most of the sims just get stuck everywhere. But I could already tell while I was letting the game sit that it's not nearly as bad as it was when I was recording then. And again, like I said, now that I've recorded, if it does seem like they start freezing and glitching, then I know what to do. So it's all good and dandy. I don't know if I want to play this series with the walls up, because technically- but then I can't see them very well, so I'm going to play with the walls down. I hear some foots- I hear some footsies! Someone's walking! Yep. 
So they are moving. So that is already like amazing sign to me. Now I originally had rolled dice, which I have all the all the dice right here. So each character has their own. Um, I didn't see anyone go in this room last time. I don't know. This makes me feel so much better about this time around. So much better. <laughs> um, but yeah, each character has their own set of dice, even though I won't bother rolling them on screen unless for some reason I feel like there's some need to do so. She came in here to complain about the furniture. Okay, Ira, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have good furniture, but yeah. Um, most days I will be rolling these dice for each morning. Since I'm having to sort of restart this, I'm going to restart the roll, so I'm not going to use what I was going to use for Mondays or Tuesdays rolls, because I went ahead and rolled for Tuesdays at the end of the episode that I tried to record last time. Not doing, not using those. Which I'm just going to re-roll. This is brand new, starting fresh. We're just going to pretend that that other one did not happen. <laughs> um, okay, she's up. Let's see where people are up and moving. But uh, originally I had Sunday the doors, all, some of the doors locked, but what I did is I gave them three rolls and took their highest number. But I'm actually like thinking wise, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all the doors unlocked for Sunday. Let them have a go around the house. Let them get used to things. So they have complete access to everything in the house. But for Monday through Friday, they will not. I will be rolling the dice to figure out what rooms they get access to. So like the outside is like a section and it's like really high up there. I think you have to get like, they have to roll like an 18 or a 17. Um, if they roll a 20, they get access to everything, but they also get to go on the trip on Saturday, like going out and having fun and doing stuff and actually getting out of this location. <laughs> um, most people are still up. So every once in a while there is going to be Sims sort of just standing here, but again, I know how to sort of fix it and sort of what to do, but there's going to be random cuts because again, I'm only going to show the drama, the interesting things, the funny things. So, um, but yeah, so this is, I'm excited to get this going again. Zuzu, what are you doing? Zuzu, dang it, Zuzu, Zuzu, calm down. Look how many things you've attacked. What are you insane, Zuzu? Oh, look. Good job. Thank you for actually cleaning. Yeah, I'm afraid Sims are not gonna- MOVEMENT! I feel like Ira actually would probably not want to be- Oh, <laughs> the ghost is free Roman! Oh, the ghost is cleaning! Oh, well, thank you! Um, I feel like Ira really wouldn't actually want a hot tub. She's a snow elf. I, don't, I mean a hot tub, a sauna. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe every once in a while the snow elf likes a good- Good hot time in the sauna. I don't know. My poor slime girl is going to be attacked by bees. She hasn't been attacked by bees yet. There we go. <laughs> girl, out of the like 30 million bathrooms, you're going to go choose to use the bathroom in a bush while it's raining. Also, I thought I turned off the pump blubs. I, I decided since we're treating this like a reality show thing that the headline effects should be off. There we go. Yeah, she's just out of everything. She's peeing out of a bush. Oh, it's like we were starting to come down heavy out here. Okay. The buns are getting soggy. Oh, that's gonna be gross. Oh, people are coming out here to get food. I am so sorry. You're gonna have soggy buns. Shamira's like, never mind. This was a bad idea. I don't want to be a part of this. Oh wait, are you fixing your own food? She's like, I don't want that food that someone else made. I want food that I made. <laughs> the confidence of some of these. What? Why did you throw it on the floor and now you're complaining about it? But the confidence of some of these Sims. I would never walk around in a house with this many random people in these outfits. These two. These ones, eh. <laughs> There's movement. Oh, she's playing her violin. Well, look at her. She's like, nah, I'm just gonna enjoy my little violin. I did unlock your door, right? <gasps> no, I didn't. My bad. I should probably check on that. <laughs> oh, they're like in here dancing. Oh. 
I mean, it's storming outside. Might as well enjoy things inside. So, what are you doing? You getting a drink? Oh gosh! Looks like he's he's definitely getting a drink. I don't blame him. <laughs> so many people just walking around in their underwear <laughs> or their sleepwear. Oh, Ivor came down here. Well, you were cycling. Oh, good for you. I'm surprised there's not more people. Oh wait, there's only one computer. That's not a computer. <laughs> no one. Is anyone going in the library? Where is the library? I am surprised that no one's going in the library. Is the library unlocked? Let me make sure, like, they can get through the door. I don't think that would have done anything, but I don't know. You never know. I'm just surprised no one's trying to get on those computers. Watch I say that, and there's all of a sudden there's going to be a bunch of people trying to get on the computers. Oh, hi. There's a conversation out here in the rain. We got Vaya and Azalea and, um... Ari Arietta. <laughs> it's like, it starts with an A. <laughs> Arietta is Ivor's, like, close friend now. And this is his ex. Despite feeling a negative vibe from Villetta, Nita thinks this may change. So how'd that conversation go? Not well. Not well. Not well. <gasps> Someone's bowling! Well, look at her bowling. She bowling by herself, but she bowling. I didn't know how well autonomously the Sims try to bowl until this household because as soon as I put the bowling alley down before I got everything set up, there were Sims trying to come bowl, and I was like, Sims actually autonomously try to bowl it, when it's not like a location that's like supposed to be a bowling alley. Cool. What are you, what are you two doing? They being sneaky in the sauna. Look at them. Look at them. Being sneaky in the sauna. Of course you're exercising. They definitely did something. Cheeky. Wait. <gasps> People doing laundry! <laughs> I'm getting excited over the littlest of things. There's no drama happening yet. Well, I mean, apparently there was a little... I mean, there's a little, a little woohoo and a little mischievousness happening here and there, but not really any big drama yet. Like these two, yeah, they were already a couple, so them woohooing, it's like, oh, look at them being cheeky and trying to sneak one in. But at the same time, it's like, y'all are a couple. Like it's not surprising. What are you doing? Stop! I'm <laughs> gonna lock Aurelia's room so that no one could come in and cry at her best friends. Earn. Y'all didn't even know her! Y'all just trying to be true. It's the Eevees. Look at- it's all the Eevees. It's all the ones based off of Eevees. This is supposed to be Eevee. This is Leafeon, this is Flareon, and this is Jolteon. It's my D&D character to play off of the Eevees. Look at- look at them all being sad. I would expect him to be more gloomy than you all. But he's over here doing yoga. What did I say? Maybe it was the wreath, though. Maybe the wreath was causing them to not get in, because as soon as I deleted the wreath, at least one person came down here. But, uh, this would be me. Amar and me are relating right now. If I was trapped in this house. You haven't been causing any mischief. In fact, I haven't seen you, actually. Which makes me wonder if you actually have been causing mischief. He's gonna try to get with every single one of the ladies before it's over with, I feel. Just saying. But yeah, no, they're moving around a lot more than the last time, and it makes me so happy. But the thing is, is this this place is pretty big, so I'm having a really hard time of keeping track of everyone. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing some juicy gossip. I need more cameras. I need a big giant crew. What are you two up to now? I don't trust y'all. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. People using these computers now. I, I'm going to seriously. Oh, oh wait, no, she's. Well, they're talking! Okay. Like, like, Eva felt, like, she felt sad for her, and she's like, she came in a room like, Oh, I'm so sorry this happened to your friend, like, if you don't mind, like, what happened? Like, how close were y'all? <laughs> oh gosh, I can't, I can't see this room, apparently. I'm just not allowed to see this room. I don't know why, but it keeps wanting to, like, 
Of course you're at the bar. I'm surprised you haven't done anything either. Um, why is ha- <laughs> What? He just- He's drunk. By the way, I did turn Willow into a werewolf, but I don't think- I forgot to fix her werewolf form before, and um, she did turn into a werewolf, and I had to use cheats to turn her back, because something is glitching real hard on her werewolf form, and she lost her head. So, um, just, just an FYI, if you see a headless werewolf walking around, it is Willow. I wish I could fix it, but I cannot go into cast with this many- this many sims. Why? Well, there's a lot of foot traffic right through here. Where, I don't know where to go, up or down! I'm gonna go down. Oh, there's Zuzu. Zuzu's going up, though. Should I go with Zuzu? Where are you going? Where are you people going? Where are you running to? I feel like I should go up. You know there's a whole giant sectional couch you can sit on? I don't know why you're standing all the way back there, but, I mean, sure. Oh, what's going on down here? What's going on down here? What's going on? Anything? 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 Uh, lover personality. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Nyx is talking to her. Oh, yeah, they're right over here. Forsythia's trying to tend to plants. No plants need tending at this moment. Forsythia's like, I wanna, I wanna take care of plants. They don't need me, but I wanna take care of them. It's also prank day. Some people are pranking people, so I guess, you know, they're doing that on their own. All right, do some of you people just walk around in your lingerie all day? I couldn't do it. What are y'all doing? Sentiment gained. Made us closer than ever. What? What? What's happening? Dang it. They're still dancing. Oh, gosh. Don't turn that way. Don't turn that way. Something going on? They got a little romance! Okay, Amaris isn't just gonna flirt with the guys. I mean, sure. Oh, gosh! I can't go into this room. But look at them! They're playing the ping pong. I'm not catching the juicy stuff, because apparently there was, like, some sort of flirting happening here. I don't know. All four of them still talking. He has to pee. I also sort of have to pee. <laughs> He's got ro- Amaris! <laughs> She's being cheeky behind my back! Am I missing anything else? I want to pull this down, though. Raz? She's got a romance bar with him. Okay, I just need to go to Amaris and Raz. How many romantic bars do y'all have? You have one, two, three. She has three so far. What about Raz? How many has he got so far? One. Oh, he's just got one. Amaris is beating you, Raz. There's no strong, strong emotions though yet. I want some strong emotions. I want, I want, I want anger. I want passion. I want drama. It's still Sunday. <laughs> They're like doing yoga. Oh, he's changed his looks. <laughs> I forget. I, I like that I gave him like a few different looks so that, you know, the changeling in him would every once in a while look different. So he decided to look different today. Or at least for the moment, I should say. What is this? She got a massage? Who gave her a massage? What's going on? Itzel's talking to someone. Itzel, 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 Itzel. <laughs> Oh, he was literally right there. <laughs> He's talking to Via, it looks like. Or he was talking to her. Had five bajillion prank days. Oh gosh, coming through. <laughs> like, prank day is over. Prank day was awful. Prank day was great. But apparently there's some mac and cheese in the basement in a cauldron if you want some. <laughs> She's angry. Why is she angry? Oh wait, the red bar went up. Did I miss something again? Take it. Okay, I just want to take this moment to appreciate this scene. 
I don't know if they ever will do this ever again, but I take a bunch of pictures. <laughs> But at the same time, I need to now get rid of all these because sometimes this alerts me to gossip. I think some people are about to go to bed. And I will say, in the sake of time, and since this is the first episode, he's naked again! What is happening? <laughs> um, but I think I'm not going to go through and lock the doors because I actually only have, like, 30 more minutes of recording that that might seem like man that's a lot of time to record and technically normally it is but for this this like it's not so how's things Evan? i'm hoping something happens in this group of people but so far not much is happening these two are talking it wait when did you get over here what what's going on over here what's going on in this conversation doesn't look like much these two are siblings but she doesn't know actually that that's her brother. He does. Backstory, anyway. Which makes him not like her. So, we'll see if the, the game actually makes them not like each other. Evie had a nightmare. Oh, well, that's sad. Why is he outside? In the nude? I don't understand! Did I finish my statement how I'm not gonna lock the doors? Because of time. Because I don't have time to go through and roll all these. And... We'll do it for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look at these weird. <laughs> at least his actually sort of makes sense. It's like, you know, he's put it, purposely put his tail under the chair and behind the chair, but you know, someone easily could step on that, and I imagine that wouldn't feel good. Just, just saying. I could be wrong. Looks like we got some bowling going on. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I caught that at a great time. Um, not good bowling. Um, at least he's not nude anymore. Goof around. Oh, but that. That's not juicy. That's not drama. Apparently she's talking to- wait. You're talking to Itzel. What's going on? What's going on? Anything going on? <laughs> I will say, if you- it, which one is it? It's not so berry. I actually turned them into slightly normal sims. Um, <laughs> I, I think she's still a mermaid. I don't remember if I left him a vampire. I think I did. But I, I, I slightly edited their appearance. You know, she doesn't have all this this going on, at least in her regular look. Um, but uh, their children are beautiful. They make beautiful children. Just, just saying. <laughs> I wanted to experiment with her. Okay. I I never experimented with him, and still nothing. Okay. I didn't haven't experimented with him and Valencia. By the way, if y'all played the new Pokemon game, there's a legendary that immediately, as soon as I called it, I named it Zuzu. And it will forever be Zuzu, not its actual name. I really think people are trying to do the keg stand, but I don't know if it's like... Oh wait, no, they're doing it! <gasps> they're doing it! They're doing it! They're actually doing it! And, and she's on the floor. Okay, I thought maybe it was in a place that they couldn't really use it very well. So I was concerned, but that makes me happy. I almost don't want to shut off these rooms because they're actually doing things. What's happening? <gasps> what? Wait, what? No, what? No, what? Where? Why? Why in her room? What's going <gasps> Fight! Fight! <laughs> fight! <laughs> fight! <laughs> it's a fight! <laughs> it's a fight! I don't know why y'all fighting in Kalani's room. I, I could have told you that she was going to win. You're just gonna chat like it's normal? Y'all just- y'all just got in a fight! It didn't seem like a very long fight. Just saying. Man, it would've been- it been more- Y'all chose to, like a private area to go fight. Y'all didn't want to see people? Y'all didn't want people to know they were all fighting? I want to see someone else do a keg stand. Oh, they're playing- <gasps> There's like dual game going on! I can't get in that room though! At least not the normal way. Look at this! Oh, my notification wall is full. Wait, no, I need my notifications. I need to know when things are going down. I do have things enabled, so, like, they should be able to... The the first kiss should, like, naturally be able to happen sometimes. Um, sinister. Well, of course she does. 
she's probably the one who attacked you. But anyway, um, the, uh, they can even ask to, engage, like, get married. Um, I'm pretty sure they can do a woohoo even if they haven't done it before. So, like, the first woohoo thing. Baya seems to have taken a liking to Ivar. Well, Ivar does look very similar to someone else. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Ivar and Itzel look very look a little similar. As as my husband would like to say, I like the edgy characters. As the, 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 I didn't mean, mean to move the mouse. <laughs> it was like mm. There's a lot of people like why is so many people in here just chit-chatting? The library is the it place all of a sudden. <laughs> Looks like I'm all done here. Are you? I feel like there's a lot of things to do. Willow just seems to stand in really random places. It's like, where's Waldo? But where's Willow? She's just so She's not doing anything. She's just standing in the most randomest of places doing nothing. Someone's in the sauna. Aurelia? Oh, and Takashi's joining her. Interesting. I think it's starting to get to the point that the game's been on a little while. That, uh, I need to, I need to eventually just let it reset. <laughs> Good thing it's almost the end of Monday. Abaya's left. What did I say? I said, be careful, Naria. This is not being careful. I missed it, though. I tell you, I missed the juicy stuff. Glad my autonomous stuff is actually working, now. Alright, well, technically, it is officially Tuesday, so I'm gonna stop it right there. <laughs> You're probably gonna see a bunch of things pop up over here, because this is what happens <laughs> when I pause the game. But yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've had a little, little bit of drama here and there. Uh, again, uh, if you tried this yourself for like streaming or video purposes, tone it down more than I did and it should go smoothly. <laughs> um, as long as you have like a, a decent computer anyway. Uh, for the most part, it's been doing well. The last, like, you know, the end of Monday there was the game struggling, so... I think she's been in the same spot for a really long time, which means I should have reset her. But she may have been part of the problem. Usually if, if they start struggling, there's like one sim that's causing the... the issue. What did- what? What is she doing? Apparently she's been in here brewing potions. A bunch of people's coming to I've uh, uh, Itzel's room. <laughs> for some reason. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Let me know what you think about the episode so far. I have no idea what the video is going to turn out because I got, got a lot of editing to do. But let me know what you think. Is there anything that you spotted in the background going on that I missed somehow? Um, just... Sure. But yeah, definitely, definitely glad some things are working. Like, I'm glad they're autonomously doing some of the stuff that I didn't think they would actually autonomously do. So, that's cool. That's nice. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know if me playing with the dice gets annoying because I keep leaving them up here and I just want to play with them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye! <laughs>